Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Well, not a let's play part of Condemned Criminal Origins with your host Fallen Wolf Arr! So the first thing let's get it up <clears throat> the first thing let's get out of the way as you can see I am currently not playing I am currently not playing uh, with a face uh, webcam with my face cam um, Face cams been giving me a lot of issues um understandable the cheap face cam i got from um uh walmart <laughs> so it's pretty cheap uh webcam I, I will be focused on getting a new webcam as the holidays get closer to ending i will be buying a new webcam that's a little more high tech and a little better uh picture quality so don't worry about that everyone uh you will get to see my lovely beautiful face um before i started though i did want to um have a serious discussion um, now I know, first of all, let me say, I know a lot of people don't care about that stuff. I know a lot of people are here for the game. A lot of people are here to see me scared and that's perfectly fine. I don't mind that. So, um, for the people that are not interested in the personal speech I'm about to talk, uh, give, um, I will post a timestamp down below, uh, right here, uh, in case you are interested in that. But for the people that are decided to stay and hear me give a personal conversation, welcome. So what I wanted to talk about, um, seriously, is I first wanted to let people know that all of you who watch my stuff, thank you. I know a lot of you are probably just people who just stop by real quick just to see what's going on, you know, and move on. You know, it goes, whether it's, the, whether it's the YouTube algorithm, whether you heard of me from other subscribers or even some of my friends, you know, there's uh, a lot of reasons you probably could be here. But regardless why you're here, honestly, thank you. Many of you people are the reason that I continue to make YouTube while it is not a career. And honestly, I don't, I doubt very seriously it's going to become a career for me. It is still, you know, a fun hobby for me. And it's still just people watching does make it, feel more enjoyable now with that being said i did want to open up a little bit for many of you who watch my videos you probably don't know that i've been going through some personal issues mainly with my job my job has been getting really stressful um, i've really been struggling to get through my work days it's been really hard to get myself to even come to work and yes that is you know something that a lot of people deal with and there's a lot of um job there's a lot of reform going on with currently entry level jobs to open up and talk about that besides you know dealing with a lot of stress at my job things have been getting really hard things have been getting really difficult it's been becoming a point where it's really becoming harder and harder for me to post videos um i'm sure many of you know that my video you know my video upload schedule has been a little discombobulated to say the least and that's just, like I said, due to my mental, a lot of my mental health has not been really good right now. And, you know, my job's one of the reasons. A, another reason is, another reason is I've been really struggling not to figure out what I want in life. Because I know what I want in life. But I guess the best thing to say would be I've been struggling to really figure out what's worthwhile to me if that makes sense. Recently, one of my friends has decided to take a break from YouTube. Um, it is unknown how long he will be taking this break. Um, it could be permanent, it could be temporary, but that it's been due to them wanting to, him wanting to focus on his real life. And when I heard this, I, you know, was shocked for one that he decided to stop doing YouTube because I thought he did some really good content. But then it also made me think, it made me think about what am I doing? Now, before anybody asks, no, I'm not, I'm not, no, no, I'm not, I'm not stopping YouTube. I really enjoy doing it. I like video editing, so I won't be stopping that. But when stuff, when I hear stuff like that, it makes me think, like, I like doing this, but sometimes I have to think, is it worth it? It's, it is worth it to me. But at the same time, it's kind of like, am I doing something wrong? You know, with making these videos, am I doing something wrong? Am I not focusing enough on my real life? Which I do. I do focus on my real life. But am I focused, you know, obviously. But it's like they're doing so well 
And yes, I want them to be successful. I want them to continue to grow and flourish. Um, I even comment on their video, you know, tell them I wish them the best because I honestly do. But it makes me pause. It made me pause because I was thinking, am I doing enough in my life? Because I, you know, I want this, I, I want simple things in life. I want to have a partner. I want to have my own place. I want to have, you know, build my own career. But sometimes it's hard to feel that way. Like I'm growing because I am. I've grown over the years. It's like I'm I'm not growing when I look at my friends or I look at people I look up to and I see how much they're flourishing and building themselves up. And it makes me pause. It makes me worried. It makes me feel like I'm not doing something. And I'm just tired of feeling that way. Like I said, I really like doing YouTube. I really like talking to all of you guys, girls, and people out there. I think you're amazing people. And the message, the, the, the comments I get on my videos are touching. Um, I've stayed in contact with a lot of people who have reached out to me. And just in general. Um, honestly, I've started coming out of my shell. I've even made a friend at my job um, who is an amazing woman. She's really funny. And honestly, it was so touching because she came to me one day um, when we were talking on our lunch break. And she said, you know, she said, if you got fired, she said, I would probably leave. And it was so amazing to hear that because I'm not used to hearing people like me like that. I've When I was growing up, I was always the odd child out. Nobody wanted to talk to me. Um, nobody really seemed like they cared about me. And just it's jarring to hear that it's touching but it's also jarring but sometimes I just feel like I'm not doing enough and I wonder you know all this stuff I put my hard work into sometimes it can feel like I'm not doing enough when I'm hearing you know my friend or xyz person is flourishing you know whether they're getting their college degree whether they're getting a dream job whether they're getting an amazing job that has a very low you know, a, a very low acceptance rate, it sometimes doesn't feel like I'm doing enough. But it's, you know, it's stuff on my mind. I'm trying to do my best. My job's getting really stressful. And I'm just starting to wonder if I'll ever get out of the hole I feel like I'm in. But um, this was this is just stuff that's been on my mind. So I just wanted people who really watch my videos and wondering why I haven't been posting as much or focusing on streaming as much why what's been going on and once again I really do want to thank all the people who do watch my videos because if it wasn't for you guys I don't know what I'd be doing so um thank you honestly from the bottom of my heart thank you for taking the time to watch my content uh when I started my YouTube channel almost two years ago I never thought I would even hit 100 subscribers less talking about over a thousand so but anyway for the people who didn't pay attention to this little personal tidbit of mine, welcome back. We are getting back into the swing of things with some more condemned criminal origins. And um, a little tidbit, a little quick tidbit. So I had to, I had to actually, hold on, I'm going to lower the volume too because the volume is probably really loud. There we go. I had to actually, I played this before and I actually had to replay the level because I actually made a mistake. Um, I actually went too far ahead and no, 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 I recorded this and I had my mic set the wrong way. I had to literally go all the way back and play through this level just so I could, I could play and re-record it, which I'm doing now. So, you know, that's what happened. You know, that's, uh, you know, I, just because I've been doing YouTube for, you know, about two years now, I still make mistakes like everybody. Oh, okay. You know, I make mistakes like this, like going into an abandoned house, cause I, you know, I'm an idiot, you know? Uh, oh, I'm not an idiot, Ethan is. Okay, I'm not liking this. Oh, that looks very creepy. I don't like that. Oh boy. This just oh, okay. Oh okay. Oh, and that frame rate is a chugging. Hey frame rate. I 
I'm sorry about the frame rate, by the way. Um, I can't control that. This game is not the most optimized. Uh, the frame rate's really chugging. Really chugging. It kind of takes a little bit of the, uh, scary... Oh. Oh, is that chair stuck? I'm... I think I'm supposed to get through there. Uh... Oh no, am I not supposed to get through there? No? Oh, okay. I, I was like, did you see that? Like, I couldn't get through. I was like, am I supposed to get through the door? I was like, um, did I just break the game? That was, that was really scary. I was a little worried. I was very, very worried for a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. oh. got another metal piece. Can. I don't know who that was. That was really scary for a minute. Oh, hold on. Your gas spectrometer is sensitive to odors such as decay and flush. Ew, that's gross. Okay. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're doing fine. You know, it's not a big deal. You know, I like these abandoned houses. I mean, pfft. Like, who is scared of an abandoned house? Like, you know, I love abandoned houses. I used to go to abandoned houses after school every day. And I was perfectly fine. I don't like, you know, like, these people, man, I tell you, like, they, you know, kids nowadays are so weak. Like, come on, abandoned house, meth heads, you know, that's nothing. Back in my day, this used to be, this used to be my general walk to school every day. This is, this is not a big deal. Not a big deal. No, not a big deal. These guys aren't even scary. These guys aren't even scary. Come on. You know, this is no big deal. Fire axe. Okay, I need a fire axe for some reason. All right. Uh, all right. So now I got to find a fire axe. I mean, like this, you know, with a little, a little, you know, a little, a little fixer upper, you know, this house isn't that bad. This, this building isn't that bad. You know, just do a little fixing up and uh, it's good as new. In the hole! <laughs> Not even a big deal. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just a fuse box shorted. I seem to be trapped over here, and I believe the suspect has my gun. Mm. How, How do you think it happened? I got ambushed. Here, take this fire axe and chop your way out. Whoa! What the hell? Whoa! You can even use things like an axe or a sledgehammer as a weapon. They do a great deal of damage, but they're slow. Swinging a lead pipe bus heads faster if that's what you prefer. Why? Why did... Yeah, you need the tips. Becker and I'll go around the other way. Try and stay in one piece. I mean, oh, I'm... And one more thing. I mean, I'm gonna try. Get yourself in a sticky situation. Use your taser to temporarily stun your target. If you're close enough, you'll find it a great way to disarm the slug of his weapon. I mean, I'd like to. I mean, maybe if you don't throw freaking fire axes at people. Like, that's... Somebody could get hurt like that, like... You know, I don't know if that's a good idea. Like, you're a cop. You should know better about public safety. Like, come on now. Oh, okay, fire axe. I wonder what's in here. Uh, looks like a TV. Unlock it. I've unlocked the bronze detective. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know what kind of achievement that is. But, uh, I'll take it. I'm never one for not accepting achievements. I'm not exactly an achievement hunter, but um, I do like finding achievements here and there. <laughs> Sir, that's not nice. That chair didn't do anything to you. Sir, I'm going to have to arrest you for, um, for uh, destruction of property, public property. Sir, sir, are you? Oh, sir, sir. Sir, I'm trying to speak to you. That's... Now, see, sir? This is what happens when, when you don't follow the law. This is the, Guys, this is what happens when you don't follow the, the Wolfpack law. The Wolfpack law, you don't follow it, and, and this happens. Now this guy has to take a nice nap. He's fine. He's fine. Don't worry. I didn't kill him. I'm a cop. I, I'm a cop. Cops don't kill. You know? Cop, cops don't kill people. He's just asleep. That's all. I'm a good cop, I promise. 
I promise. I'm a good cop. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Weapon stat comparisons are relative to your current weapon, okay? Kind of figured that, but all right. All right, so guys, I'm going to need you to come out. I, I don't want to have to put you to sleep like I just did your friend there, but I will if I have to. Knowing how to block is vital when fighting tougher enemies. Why would I need to know how to block? Nope, I'm, I'm holding on to the fire axe. It's it's very it's very slow, but it's a, it's a good weapon. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo, wee woo. Sir, that. Did you not see what I just told your friend? Stop the destruction of public property is not cool. It's not cool at all. Okay, I hear noises. I don't like this. Oh, God. Oh, God! Oh, shit! I wasn't. Ah! Oh shit! I wasn't expecting that. Ow! Oh, I, I, okay. I, I, and I'm not exaggerating. I literally. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't know they could bust through the, the door like that. Oh, I don't like that. No. Oh. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Uh, how you doing? Hello? Okay. Nope. Nope. Oh. Okay, the Fire Axe is really slow, but it does a lot of damage. Two hits and they're knocked out and they're dead. Oh, and that's another... By the way, why am I picking this up? What What, what is entailing my character to just be like, Oh, look, a rotting... A rotting crow carcass. Let me let me just pick that up with my bare hands, cause that's not gross. It's not gross at all. Like I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? You know, are you know, are we the criminal? Are we are we the criminal? Maybe maybe you know, we're the criminal. We've been the criminal all along. It was me all along. B word must die, and I can't read the rest. It, this, the graphics are so outdated, I cannot read the whole thing. Also, why are there so many eyes? I don't like the eyes. Eyes are eyes are weird. Large pipe? No. Okay. All right. Uh, is there anything over here? Nope, I guess not. I'm waiting for something to jump out at me. I'm waiting. Now I can't trust anything, because I, I really didn't know the enemies could break through doors like that. Oh! Oh, okay! Sir! I was speaking! I was speaking. That is so rude. That is so rude. It's like, sir, I was speaking... Trying to have a nice conversation with my viewers over here. And then you just come along and you're just like... Yeah, you're like, I want to ruin, I want to ruin this, you know, this, this guy's day. All right, anyway, uh, I have, n I don't like the sounds. Somebody's grunting. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, what was that? Okay, there was a black shadow. Ow! Oh, oh, okay. How does it feel to be on this end of the gun? Not really good. But listen, you bastard. Don't mess this up for us. We are both on the same path of righteousness. I don't even know you, sir. <coughs> I don't even know this guy. The path takes strange turns. Are what worthless cops worthless cops what the hell ow oh we're dead we're dead okay that's it game over well everyone that's uh, that's the end of the game 
that's either that has to be the end of the game i, I mean that's the end of the game I, I guess um we got thrown out of a two-story building and onto a car through glass through glass and onto a car where there's no way we're alive so uh man i wonder who else we play as there i guess we i guess we're playing as another cop or detective trying to figure out what happened to this guy I, i'm really curious i want to see what happens like who do you play as well, I'm very excited to see who we play as, because our character is definitely dead. So, I'm really curious to see who the next main character will be. Wait, what? Huh? Excuse me? How are we still alive? There is no way we our character should be alive. There is no way this man should be walking with nothing more than a headache. No cuts and bruises on his body. No worse for wear. Just a mild headache. Okay. All right. All right, I guess it's suspension of disbelief. You know, it's a video game, guys. I guess I have to come to the conclusion. It's a video game, you know, that's, I, I just, I find that so hard. To believe who are you what is going on calm yourself my name is malcolm van horn i was a great friend and who is this uh -oh. yes i remember you a long time ago but why are you here now last night well i was nearby an unfortunate scene you did your best but it could not be helped the detectives they're dead shot with your weapon and you will be blamed for their deaths. Ridiculous. I'll just tell them. What? Tell them the truth? They have already decided the truth. This is insane. I can't just give up the Bureau. It's already been taken from you. Now join me and help yourself. Open up, Mr. Police. Damn. Take your bag and head across to the Metro Station. I I'm not trusting this guy. This guy looks a little too suspicious. Ethan, you must trust me. I am here to help. Now go. Sir, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't I barely know you. I barely know you. I I don't know if I can trust you. How do I know you're not working for the serial killer? You know what? I, I guess we don't really have a choice. Grab conduit. Okay. Also, you know, I, I don't know this guy. We don't know this guy. And we're just like, yeah, we'll, we'll ooh, shovel. Ooh, shovel to dig, to dig. Uh, what are we digging? You know, this shovel is very sim symbolic of my uh, my YouTube and Twitch career. Um, th I'm, this is the shovel I use to dig for the little bit of sense I get from doing YouTube. <laughs> from doing YouTube and... Uh, from doing YouTube and doing um, um, Twitch. Okay. You know, I was really thinking something was going to be here, but I guess not. You know what? I'm trying to look for secrets, but at the same time, I really don't care. I just want to get through the game. Um, but I'm going to look for secrets if I think I know where they're at. But I haven't played this in a long time. I don't even think I ever... Oh, okay. You know, I have to remind myself this game is from 2006. Back when doing something like that, would it automatically get you sent to jail and labeled as a... You know what. Oh, what's the... Are these photos of me? Am I a... I must be a celebrity, because if this guy is taking pictures of me, I have to be a... Thank God. I thought they would have suspended my lab access. didn't kill those guys. I know, Thomas. Well, I'm not certain what I do or don't know, Thank you, Rosa. I still trust you. Thank you. Understood. So, what about the photos? Well, no standing on ceremony then. Hmm. It's a picture of you, Thomas. In your apartment. I remember that hideous sofa from last year's Christmas party. 
All right, Rosa, no need, no need to, uh, no need to kink shame me. No need to kink shame. Maybe, maybe I like sofas. Maybe I like really ugly sofas. You know. You know, this is this is 2021. You let people do what they want, and you leave them alone. 2001. You you let people do what they want to do. You leave them alone. I don't like the fact that said sample liquid. Makes me a little worried. Oh, thank God. Okay. I was getting a little worried. So wait, these photos were processed here, somewhere within the station. That would be my guess. Okay, that's a relief. I was getting a little worried. She, it was like sample liquid. I'm like, sample liquid? I'm like, what kind of liquid? I'm like, it's a little worrying. Oh, hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. All right. I'll take that crowbar. Thank you. Oh, use crowbar. Open the door. Saving. Okay. None of my business. I'm gonna just keep them keep them moving. Oh, oh, nope. Oh, okay. Okay, nope. 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 Oh. There we go. I got him. Oh, that looked painful. You know, I'm starting to understand why everybody here is crazy. I mean, can you imagine living in a city that looked like this? Like, I mean... If I lived in a city like this, I think I would also go a little bit insane in the membrane. Like, this city looks depressing and dark and dreary. Like, ooh. Ooh, gun. But you know what makes this, you know, you know what makes this town a little less depressing? A gun. Because a gun keeps the peace. We all know that guns keep the peace. When, you know, when you're having a conversation and you're eating a, you're eating, you know, you're how you have friends over, you're eating a large pepperoni pizza, and there's one slice left and everybody wants it. All you gotta do, so all somebody gotta do is pull out a gun, shoot in the air. You're gonna get that slice of pizza, hands down. You don't gotta worry about anything. You know, as soon as you do that, everybody's gonna let you have that slice of pizza. Everybody wins. It's peaceful resolution. Guns bring the peace, like I said. You know, just fire a few shots in the air, pow, pow, pow. And suddenly everybody's as docile as cute little kittens. Okay, where does this lead? If that leads there, this leads over. Okay, nothing here, yes. Where does this lead, actually? I'm a little curious. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. Like I said, I don't remember this game. Hold on. Look at this picture. Is that... Is that... Is that like a photoshopped version of that meme where you have the guy on the couch with, like, his fist clutched and, like, leaning really closely on the couch while his two friends cheer him from behind? That hat... That looks just like the guy. Oh my gosh, that looks just like the guy. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I love this. I really hope that's where that photo is from. Oh, there's my phone. This is Thomas. It's Van Hoyt. Listen and be quiet. How do you have my number? The police are not searching or more properly destroying your apartment. They seem to have no faith in your innocence. But I am innocent. I know that. You must prove that. One more thing. How do you have my phone number? Malcolm Van Horn. Malcolm Van Horn, you know, when I'm come to think of it, Malcolm Van Horn sounds like the name of like some like big time Texas rancher. Like, tell me that does not sound like the name of like some big big shot Texas rancher. Oh I don't like this. I don't like this. Hello. 
I have a gun. You sure you want to come after me? I hear something. Then right here. Come on. I hear him. He's like right there. And I have really good headphones right now. Okay, that... I. Okay, how are you not dead? How are you not dead? I shot you three times. I shot you in the chest. I shot you in the head. You're not human. You're not human. I, I shot him three times. Point blank range. With a pistol. And he's still running. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this. I want to go home. Can we go home? I, I want to go home. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm, I'm a little worried. Oh, I need a sledgehammer. Lovely. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. A little worrisome. A little worrisome. Um, I think that I am gonna. I think that I'm gonna stop here for now. Uh, apparently we need a sledgehammer to keep going. Uh, I've been. You know, no, no, no. We can keep. We can keep going for a little bit longer. I did spend a few minutes rambling about nonsense. So the people that didn't hear the rambling, you know, you obviously don't have to worry. But for the people that did, you got 10 minutes of me whining about my personal life. So I guess I, it's only fair that I continue to play a little bit longer for you guys. That were nice enough to stay. Okay. I don't know how I can't break that glass. You know, but like seriously, it's like like what the hell, guys? It's like, come on. Okay, this doesn't look manager's office. Anything? Okay, nothing there. What's over here? I don't like the sounds that this game makes. Like you hear these sounds and you're like, oh my gosh! You're like, what is going on here? You're like. There's too many sounds going on. There are frightening sounds on top of that. It's like, I don't want to be here. I just want to go home. And honestly, at this point in time, if this was happening to me in real life, I probably would have already crapped my pa pants. Well, I got a shotgun. How many bullets do I have left? I have two. This is a shotgun. At least it actually killed them in one hit. Unlike the, uh, you know, the freaking pistol that was like, Hey, I'm gonna shoot you. Pow. Oh. Oh, it's a BB gun. It's not really a pistol. It's a BB gun. Oh, and you have a pistol. I'm glad I shot you. That guy had a pistol. I don't want to waste all the bullets. I want to find another enemy before I take that pistol. Okay. I guess I'll take the pill. How many bullets do I have? That's it? Three? Ugh. Why do these guns have so little ammo? Okay, what is that? Oh. I, I saw you, sir. Sir. Okay, you were probably right there. I know you are. I know you are. I know you're right there. I know you're right there. I don't want to pick that up. Oh, there's another metal piece. As soon as I pick that up, they're gonna run at me. Mm. Yeah, at least I'm, all right, I guess not. All right, never mind. I think I have to go back through here. Oh, okay, I missed, that was dumb. Oh, okay. I see. Ow. Come on! Alright, there was one other guy I saw. There you go. I got you. Oh, shit. I blocked! I blocked that. That's bullcrap. I'm like, I blocked that! Also, like I said, though, for everyone, I'm really sorry about the frame rate. I think it's just a game, just generally, just because it's an old game. Also, I need health really badly. I'm going to take all the health. I'm going to pop those pills like you've never seen before. All right, 
I'm gonna break this door. Alright. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like the mannequin arm. Anybody in here? Okay, I guess not. I heard moaning. I don't like that. I don't know what that was. I'm not the only one hearing that moaning, right? Oh boy. I don't like these sounds. I do not like these sounds at all. Okay. Serial killers, police feds overwhelmed by violence. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I I, guess, I think it's just the environment. Oh. Thomas speaking. Ethan, it's Van Horn. Oh. How do you know this number anyway? Yeah. My potential? Um, okay. You become an excellent investigator. Not through training or luck, but instinctually. However, you'll find that you are capable of seeing so much more. Again with the instincts. They're a gift from, well, perhaps not from God. Remember, they can help you and others. Again, I must go. Be careful. Okay. Uh, I don't trust Van Horn at all. Um, I think he is hiding something. And I'm very concerned. Because, um, the fact that he knows a lot about me, especially a lot more than I know about them, that's concerning. Oh, boy. Saving checkpoint. But we don't have time for that. I'm going to stop here, and in the next part, we're going to find out more about Mr. Mick, Mr. Untrustworthy. We're going to find out more about Mr. Untrustworthy, and I'm also going to go through apparently a somehow completely abandoned train station in the middle of a city, which is very unrealistic, and it's very concerning. But with that being said, though, thank everyone once again for stopping by an another video of mine. Once again, I'd like to say if you really enjoy my content and you'd like to see more or get more notifications, no uh, notifications for when I live stream or post a video, don't forget to hit that uh, little bell, notification bell, as well as the subscribe button. And lastly, this has been Fallen Wolf. And I'll see you next time. I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you at the next part. Bye.